Hey, what's up, guys? Mopar for Life here. It is September 25th, 2020. Check it out. Did they install screws in the 70s to hang drywall? Because that's when my house was built. Had an earthquake the other day. My drywall in my kitchen, on my ceiling, started to sag. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. What am I going to do? It was bothering me all night. I didn't want it to fall or anything like that. So I had to improvise, create something to try and get to push my drywall back up and install, you know, if the right way using screws, uh, drywall screws, that is. And luckily for me, I did a drywall job, you know, uh, a couple, you know, months ago and I had a ton of drywall screws. So what I used to fix this in a hurry was, you know, I don't recommend doing this, but when you got to improvise, improvise, you know, and create something, you just do it. Uh, so I used my six foot ladder, my car jack and a Lowe's bucket that I had left over from another job and then a two by five board. And I laid the two by five board on top of the bucket right there and the bucket on top of the jack and then the jack on top of the ladder. And then I raised up everything using the jack you know, it kind of helped me out pushing that drywall up against the, uh, you know, the joist up there. And then, you know, I had a little bit of help from a friend. So um, I just started going to work and started, you know, screwing it back up from left to right. And, you know, I, I spaced them. I tried to space them every eight inches, you know, and slowly but surely this drywall started to go back up. So... You don't need to get all crazy and fancy and go spend a lot of money, you know. Obviously, I don't like to spend a lot of money. That's why I'm doing it this way. But uh, also because I wanted to fix this in a hurry. I couldn't just wake up in the morning and, you know, have my drywall sit on the floor or, you know, just hear something in the middle of the night just crash down. No, no way. So this is what I did for now. Uh, I'm going to work myself all the way to this side and then I'm going to work myself that way and uh, maybe alter the ladder a little bit to get it in position to, you know, hold up that opposite end over there because the drywall is pretty heavy. I don't recommend you pushing it up by yourself. It's just not going to work. You're going to need some help. Um, and that's what the, you know, that's what this whole setup here is for and what I created to improvise. Now, it can be done if this happens to you, you know, just go ahead and try it out if you don't feel comfortable doing it then don't do it but for me like i said i don't like to spend a lot of money and it's working working out for me so far so that is my little dilemma tonight and hopefully it'll be all finished by the morning and then i can just cover it up with some um some uh drywall you know putty and then a little bit of texture and paint and stuff like that to, you know, make it look like it never even happened before. So with that being said, this is Mopar for life. If this happens to you, go ahead and try something out like this, but be careful at your own risk. Maybe you can come up with something a little bit better, but I like to use what I got on hand. So till next time, be safe. Talk to you guys later. Close up shot one more time. Peace out, guys.